What's going on, guys? This is Peter with Ozone TCG, and we are here with Omar Jones. All right, Omar, what'd you just do today? Uh, I made top 64 with my Gishki Sprite deck. Gishki Sprite, that's awesome, man. All right, you want to show us the deck? Sure. So, All right. I'll start off. I play uh, three Nib. All right. And three Ashes for my monster hand traps. And then we can get to the actual engine. Mm -hmm. I play uh, two Gishki Abysses. Mm -hmm. I play uh, one Abyss. Mm -hmm. I play one Vision. Mm -hmm. One uh, Shadow. Mm -hmm. Two Aquamere. Mm -hmm. Focus Aquamere. Mm -hmm. Also, I play the Burn Aquamere. That's nice. And then the One Ritual, of course. And then you have also have the Sprite Engine. AKA the Beavers. I don't care. That's a part of this right engine. <laughs> beaver, three Beaver, one Angler. You got three swaps. That's a part of Sprite also. And then you have three blue. Of course, engine's insane. Uh, very consistent engine. Two level twos does the whole thing. Uh, three Jets, one Carrot, one Red. And then you clearly have the two starters, clearly. Uh, it's one Smashers. And one dollar. This card, I would say, is most likely the best card in the spread deck besides Gigantic. All right. Uh, this can win you so many games just alone. So I play one call by defensive card, I guess. Uh, in case I get hand trapped, two talents. Um, I feel as though you never really need three ever. Like, also, it can clog you sometimes. Like, even I play two and I'll be drawn to it, but like, it's just dead. It doesn't do anything. And then I played three, uh, three Empires. But this gold one, I always draw the gold one. I don't know why. <laughs> so we'll go to the extra deck. All right. So for Link Tees, we have Sprint. And then you have the Bujin. Mm -hmm. This card helps you make Toad. It also like enables a lot of other plays. Like uh, It's a line where you can go for like Mosquito with it. And then like you can attack something. Beta, uh, clear a back row by detaching from cost. And then pop the back row. IP, I'm pretty sure it's most likely every sprite deck should play IP. It's a level two, like something in the comes to. Uh, Dark, Dark is pretty decent. It's like more versatile. It hits a lot of decks in the format. Like you can take a Rise Heart with this, and like then once you take a Rise Heart, you can summon another sprite and then just be gigantic with this. So it has uses. Cerberus, uh, generic link two, discard a card, pop, you know, everything you want in sprite. Uh, another link be Unicorn to go with it. Uh, an IP target just in case. I never, I never make this ever. But like it never comes up. Uh, Avermax. A lot of decks in the meta have a lot of problems trying to out this. They have to invest a lot of resources to out this, and once they do, you should just spin back, and then you just kill them the next turn. Uh, for my XYZs, I play one uh, Obamara Soul Sweeper. Uh, one totally awesome. Uh, this guy is very awesome. Not gonna lie. Uh, Mannequin Cat. This against Cash, I don't know like why all the Cash players leave Shifter in for my deck. I'm like, it doesn't know anything because you Shifter me and then I summon Mannequin Cat, summon it to your Bellrat, and then put everything in defense and now you have to have Birth and once you normal summon, I'll just double cross take it. Power to Pure Light. Uh, this was kind of like a decision I was looking to do, the uh, XYZs, and I'm like, this is not bad because I only play one Angler. So sometimes I would draw the Angler, or when I have to do like a Beaver line to Normal Summon Beaver, because I never want Normal Summon Beaver, um, you can add back the Beaver, or you can add back any card from your graveyard, put back the Beaver or Angler, either or. Or you can add back Hand Traps, like uh, I, I side shifter, so I can um, I can keep looping shifter to the decks that lose the shifter. Awesome. Uh, two Gigantic Sprites, uh, clearly Manitar, three really never comes up. Uh, most of the time, if you play three Gigantic Sprites, you're in a very bad position anyway. Uh, Ninja Mosquito, it's like one of my favorite cards in the extra deck. Uh, this, you pair this card with like Nib or anything, like it wins you so it just wins you so many uh, games, and like it gives Sprite that kill button that it needs. And then I play uh, Zeus. Clearly, everyone needs to play Zeus in the extra deck. All right, all right. Uh, for side deck, we have uh, two Spiritual Arts. Uh, this card is literally just a pointer at home. Like, you definitely just, I'm playing a lot of water monsters, so I see this, and like when I do Toad Effect to summon during the stamina phase, I get to look at your hand and see how I can disrupt you, or how I need to play sequence my card so I can win. Um, two evenly match, uh, never really need three, 
because uh, I'll show you the leader card white on the third. I have uh, two Curry Kara. Also, I feel as though this card sometimes is very bricky, but like it's amazing against cash. And, like I feel as though two is just the perfect ratio for that card. Um, three shifters, shifter, all up for the rogue matchups like Dragon Link and all that good stuff. But even like the Evil Ton Runic deck, they even like have a hard time playing with three shifter because it turns off the Runic engine and the Evil Ton engine. So if I only have to play through a spray engine, I think I'm fine with that. Uh, one change of heart. Clearly, like, that card's nice. I don't know why they brought it back. <laughs> uh, one uh, Dark Ruler No More. One Harpy's Feather Duster. And two Thrust. Clearly, it's a Thrust Package. And, yeah, the Thrust Package is pretty good. It wins you a lot of games, especially, like, this by itself versus Cash. Almost versus the whole entire war. Because as soon as they go standby phase, so for Shang, mm -hmm. you just activate this, this mandatory effect will arise, you grab talents. Most of the time, they either banish their, uh, when I activate talents, they banish their arise heart or my talents. But then I just grab, um, you usually just grab their, uh, you take their, you take one of their mosses and then you just break their board like that. Most of the time, they summon Fenrir anyway. So yeah. you'll just use Fenrir and gotcha. then banish a card. Very cool. All right, man. So real quick, for the people at home, what do the sprite cards add to this? Uh, sorry, not sorry, the Gishki cards add to this. So this the Gishki cards, mm -hmm. so Grimness by itself summons a level 2 from deck. So this by itself mm -hmm. is literally Deep Sea Diva, but you plus. You mm -hmm. get a plus 1. Also, the ritual like gives you like good recursion because sometimes like you can summon it during turn 1, but turn 2 is also decent because you summon the ritual guy. Most of the time, your life point is going to be safe. And then you can summon back to to end up breaking their board back if they, even if they try to break their board. All right, talk about the level time ritual monster summons a water from grave. Yes. So if you get that far, yeah, it's also like massive and has a monster negate on it. Yeah, and also he can dive my monster special from the extra deck. Very cool. Also, like his monster negate to shuffle it back is pretty good, also. Yeah, negate and shuffle is definitely very helpful. Yeah. Well, awesome, man. Thank you for the deck for all. Congratulations. Uh, any shout outs you want to give? Yeah, uh, shout out to Bible Study. Shout out to uh, Rooley. Shout out to my man Darius. Shout out to my man Emmanuel. Shout out to my guy Saint. Shout out to the GG Wagio. Uh, shout out to my pops, of course, you know. I couldn't do this without them. Uh, shout out to everyone in Maryland that was uh, rooting for me. I'm sorry I let you guys down, but next time, I plan on trying to win at least. Yeah, you got the repeat, man. You're our prodigal son. Yeah. All right. Thank back you, Omar. <laughs> shout out to Drake. <laughs> Thank you, man. All right.